Sometimes portraits aren't quite tack sharp. For example, if you open up princess.jpg from the support files, it's a really good photo. It's just slightly out of focus. It's not quite tack sharp. So here are two ways to sharpen portrait photos. This is a JPEG, so we have a background layer here. And if you have the channels panel open, if you don't, just go to window, then channels. And if you click on the blue channel, you see a lot of texture in the skin. If you click on the green, there's a little bit of texture. If you hit on the red, not as much. Most of the texture is in the eyes and the hair and the area that we really want to sharpen. So go ahead and I'm going to press control on the PC or command on the Mac and press J. And that will duplicate this original layer so we can see the before and after. Then on the channels layer, select the red channel. Then go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And we want to bump this up a bit, but if you do it too much, it'll look kind of grainy. So I would say for this example, maybe about a radius of one pixel, threshold zero, and amount, I would say, so you can really see it at least, maybe about 110, 120, somewhere in that range. Then click OK, and then click the RGB again. And so we had the before and then after. It's very, very subtle in this example. I'm going to show you another way to sharpen it as well. If you delete that new layer, I'm going to press Control or Command J again, and I'll duplicate the layer again. And let's go to Image, Mode, Lab. So instead of red, green, blue channels in the lab, and say don't flatten, it's the lightness. So the tonality is in this channel, and then A and B has the color. So with lightness selected, go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And I'm going to bump this up a lot so we can really see the difference on the screen. I'm going to do about, for this example, about 200%. Radius about, about 2 pixels and threshold 0. And click OK. And so then there you see the before and then after. So before, a little bit blurry, after, a lot more tack sharp. And because we weren't sharpening A or B, we minimize the grainy or noisy look that can happen. Another step is to hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and add a layer mask. So it'll add a layer mask that is completely black. And then choose a nice soft edge brush, foreground set to white, and then hardness set to 0%. And just click and drag the areas that would need to be sharpened. So maybe the hair, in this example, on the eyes and the mouth, the edge of her face here. That's if you want selective sharpening. So you can Alt or Option click the mask and you can see where we're masking out and where we're not masking out. So there's the original where nothing is really sharp and then you click here and we have actually these areas that are have the white painted in that top layer is showing wherever it's white and then wherever it's black it's masking out to show the bottom more blurry layer. So that's two ways to sharpen portraits. We're also going to go over how to sharpen specific areas later in this section.